Welcome back. Today is a special day. As you can see, I've dressed up and made a good occasion of it. We're not watching anime today. Catching up on the ending of a show that is quite important. And so we're trying something else. No idea how this is going to go, but if you enjoy it, let me know. If you can think of a way of doing it better, definitely leave a comment down below. But... Got to catch up on the manga, so let's do some reading. What could possibly go wrong? But in a world destroyed, a friend lost to the fungi of the sky, and still on the search for something to eat, let's see some more of Girl's Last Tour. You know, coming from watching the anime and everything to now going back to the manga, and I've read a few mangas in my time, in fact I have several in Japanese itself, but now seeing the art styles and yeah, not much has really changed. And then you know, the pre-chapter amble where they're just going down the, I don't know, some pipe just in a giant tuna can. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> but I don't know how I'm going to be doing this, whether I'll read speech bubbles or just do a Interaction whenever things actually you know, come to mind. We'll see how it goes. And if you want me to do anything specific, maybe for next time, if there is a next time, let me know. <laughs> la 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 la, indeed. You know, always keeping up that happy tune, whether it be for food or anything else. And not f nothing's really changed from her character. Is it time to eat? Well, it's always time to eat in her mind. And trying to have some fun. Being able to actually gather supplies from the submarine that we saw just before you know, the, the end of the episode and everything. The big black building, though, that's the what they know it as. And, of course... Many a lock being opened thanks to the mysterious creatures that are the, the fungi things. But what in this world has been opened up thanks to them that we didn't even know of? And despite everything in this this world, their knowledge and therefore lack of, knowing, oh, it's called a ship, but not knowing what it was for. Have they seen an ocean? Hmm. And of course, their entire journey, stop, rest, refuel, continue on, and com <laughs> yeah, continue ad nauseum. Where do they find water? If only there was something around here that is consistent of, or consists of water. Ah, <laughs> don't take me for an idiot. Obviously we get water if we melt the ice. Ah, uh, true, they've got to balance out water collection and actually getting to their next destination. She almost had a point. Almost. And if you could separate the two, so you're using the heat, then sure, maybe, but... Mm. <laughs> maybe they can just put some of the ice in a container and then hold it close to them. Their body heat melted. Take a while. And just shut up and look out for water. <laughs> a trench? So now what? Even though this is on the upper stratas, we're getting to weird warfare positions again. So they found what another big pipe that was crossing a gap. I see, much like crossing the building before when uh, can't remember his name, Kozara or something. The photographer, camera guy, blew up a building to cross it. This time, using what was in their environment.
a long journey with not much to do. Might as well, yeah, close your eyes, get a bit of rest. Want the sound of the treads on the... Ah. I thought it was the sound of the treads of the vehicle on the on the building, but new. Good idea. Now, how are they going to lower themselves down? Is there a stairwell or some rope or some rope or something? <laughs> and a high five to celebrate a job well done, being able to abseil. It does look like some sort of sluice gate or something, in a weird way. Looking at the picture, it has to be sucking. I mean, yes. This is sucking. Uh, uh, she's got something there. Not sure what it is, but something. <laughs> The difference between, you know, romanization and Japanese uh, hiragana and whatnot. Yeah, we use individual letters. Well, I have plenty of tinned fish downstairs in the kitchen. That I think my nan gave me as a supplier ration, but not touched any of them. Don't really care for tin fish. <laughs> but if we're in a survival situation, that would definitely change. That is a hunky bit of meat as well. If it was tuna steak, then I'm all for that. I mean, <laughs> people in the past had it great. Well, apart from the constant warfare, Maybe tinned fish was a valuable thing. If only they knew. What if they came across, I don't know, eclairs? What would they say to that? Now let, you know, send it off on its journey. A farewell, thank you for the food. Continue on your swim, little tin fish. And coming up some good ideas of what the ship was possibly for. The bits of information now coming back to her. No, I don't think... Oh, she's sending the second cat. <laughs> I don't think... Initial engineering on shipbuilding is something that is really done with just circular cans. But much like their journey, yeah, there's no way of steering where you're going and directionality of it. Just aimless wandering, hoping to get to higher. And being given some information of actually how to get to the higher higher remits <laughs> I see the beginning of the chapter in their boat can boat thing that this is why right following it out just to follow the tide and the the flow of the river They got down, getting down is pretty easy, but yeah, putting everything up is an arduous task. Would you trust her to be your medic? Something tells me the climb back up didn't exactly go to plan. I see. Yeah, being 
trapped under a lot of metal like that. At least it was on when she got to the top rather than anything else. Falling from the rope back down into the chasm below her would have been a lot worse. Does it hurt? Are you sure? I'm going to swap roles. She's going to be allowed to drive for a tiny bit. Well, you got to learn what better time than now. I regret you... Make you regret calling me a piece of trash that can only sit in the back of that whole time. I mean... It might not have been said out loud, but is it far off the mark? <laughs> Good start to any journey. Stick in reverse. And if her leg does require several days to recover from it, is the constant vibration of this that vehicle really going to help? Oh, true. If she gets lingering uh, injuries from that. <laughs> yeah, in time it will heal. Yeah, but you're driving, remember? <laughs> Constant distractions. Uh, usually okay, but when you're on a thin road and an inexperienced driver. Mm. What were they? Construction robots putting up the, the, those girders and beams? Are there any actual machines left still capable of movement? Speaking of. Is it carrying a broken one upon its back as well? She's getting a full course of driving experience now. Reverse round a corner. And also, wow, incredibly high up as well. Good thing. At least one more girder there to stopping them completely falling off the edge. But this is going to be a domino chain reaction about breaking stuff. Nah, they're fine. <laughs> Just pedal to the metal without what she's trying to outrun the... Uh, Catastrophe she's caused. Yeah, this isn't a time to break. This is a time for speed, actually. I'm not sure that thing could make those hops or the suspension be able to survive it. But uh, at this point, that's the least of their worries. What are they digging up or burying? Oh, is it ice? Isn't that just the universal? If you've got something cold, whether it be ice or a drink or something, then it needs to be put against someone's face. So, see, it is cold. But I do like, yeah, the multi-purpose of the ice. Before it was talking about we need ice for water, and now it's a heal, a nice pack for the, for the leg, a healing pack. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> I mean, for her small. 
experience with driving. It could have gone worse. To be fair, you're a very activity heavy uh, little driving session. Well, I guess while she's recovering her leg, gotta get do something. I like the attempts at uh, starting off, you know, the circle, the lines to get the proportions correct of the face. Shiny? Oh, this is a big building with two entrances. Was well, it some sort of governmental place? Doesn't seem to be surrounded by much else. People, they don't look entirely friendly. I knew it. Those damn marbles. So this was what? An old museum? I see the uh, the artistry of the beginning now. Hmm, clever. So what? This place has like Michelangelo's David and the like. Eighteen forty. I mean. How do the various levels of city go? Is it the higher up, the more affluent and therefore can afford museums of the past, of the long, long past, like this? Wow. You got, what was it, Botticelli there? Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, all artwork should be taken literally. I mean, walking around in giant clamshells. What were they thinking? But, yeah, how, just looking, looking back at the uh, times of the past, if they are to be taken somewhat at face value without artistry, artistry, just countless scenes of trees and forests. How that must feel to them who haven't seen anything other than abandoned concrete. Oh yeah, what were those uh, ancient painters thinking? Why not just use a camera? <laughs> What is that, Dali? Well, they've got quite a few references to actual interesting uh, painters and artists. Yeah, what is the point? Just use a camera. <laughs> and then when when you get into the more abstract. Art affects us in different ways. What do you see from the painting? I see lunch. Yeah. There's a, a, quite a lot of art, especially contemporary art, which I just think is a load of cobblers. But each to their own. Like that entirely just black canvas, I might just look and go, yeah, you're just trying to take the piss now, aren't you? But to others, it could mean quite a lot. Respecting the uh, art of the past, what's it going to be? A canvas that size? Was it like the Last Supper or something? I don't actually know the size of that painting. Ladder, wire, they can 
make some sort of pulley system. <laughs> now she sees what's on the underside, and like, actually, no, we can put it back on the floor now. Whoa. Uh, hmm. Very vivid, this one. Very a great sense of uh, movement and energy. Is it showing off the, you know, a few of the... Or create that huge crater before that we saw? Or more recent events? Is she going to try herself a... To her own hand at some artwork. Her current feelings. Is it going to be a fish? It kind of universal. If it should evoke the same sort of sentiment. Different food, cloves, culture, and yet we're able to feel exceedingly uh, similar things to them. Not everyone is so different, are they? What could it be indeed? It's I'm hungry, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, there's a, a singular brain cell in there working overdrive. Wow. The la oh god. The last picture drawn by humanity. If you put it like that, wow. What a place to put it next to it as well. Having some ancient like cave paintings next to the final picture drawn by humanity. The beginning and the end summed up in a single panel. And everything that we have achieved since. Final, final feelings of the human race. I'm hungry. I think very similar things were thought back then as well. I see this strata that they're on is quite nice, having a museum and art gallery, a tailor shop. I'm surprised their code sniffing has lasted as long as they have, to be fair. Much like the paintings in the in the uh, gallery, why do they need clothes? <laughs> so she's turned into a cousin it kind of thing. How long ago did this place go to hell? Because having curtains survive without being mothballed or anything. What do her eyes see? Huh. A day where they can relax, have a little fun? Ah, laundry day. <laughs> I mean... To be fair, considering how high up they actually are, if you have any sort of water, you wouldn't be bothered of the temperature, but lukewarm, eh, you can at least, yeah, as, she's, as she's so frantically doing, just enjoying it. A 
hopefully there's not any flags being raised there which will last long longer than more the cloves. <laughs> she doesn't even have the time to strip down so everything's going in. I mean, kill two birds with one stone, wash the cloves and had to take a bath at the same time. What could go wrong? I'll allow any and all moments for a time like this, just being able to let loose and enjoy themselves a little. If they're worried about what would last longer, their, their clothes or their corporeal form, yeah, the hair would take a while. I remember growing mine out. <laughs> so they're going to use the curtains as a makeshift blanket, but then they're going to try their hand at some tailor work. Nice toga. Hmm. I mean, I was wondering what they needed the fuel for, but yeah, okay. This helps speed up the drying of everything else. Hmm. It works out. <laughs> I've never actually thought about the first person to don a bit of cloth or most likely an animal pelt and be like, ooh, this is better than being Starkers. So, everything had to be done themselves. Nothing could be f bought or found, well, other than that. You're foraging for berries and stuff, they can be found. It's come full cycle. Starting with nothing and just making everything yourself. I do like how it's wrapped up everything, the the, the history of the, the paintings and art and then also practical practicality uh, stuff, like clothes. Yeah, she seems so happy about inventing the button. Well, I suppose they need to worry about health risks. <laughs> Now that wondering about the afterlife, if this is raising, well, I mean, there's always been conversations like this going out through the series, but if this is raising anything considering the end of this se series, <laughs> yeah, seeing a massive shaft and then, a, well, the amount of times they've been in danger, they've been close to death than closer to death than at any other point. Yeah, maybe come to terms with fragility of life and whether or not there is enough life uh, in times like this. <laughs> Put a little ease of mind. Ask a question, don't bother for the response. Perfect. Yeah, but there have been many a different interpretation of the afterlife, what may come to pass. Or 
what was left in our stead, I suppose. Whatever brings a little comfort and closure to anyone. I don't think we have... But we don't have definitive proof of anything. So it's up to interpretation. Now it looks like some sort of M.C. Escher painting. Can we go back to the art gallery? So now, well, they'll continue their journey along the around this place just in spirit form. <laughs> Imagine, yeah, if you if you are able to, if there's an afterlife, but it's just viewing this world long after you're departed from it, seeing what other people are up to, I would be so disappointed in humanity. And all those invisible people are having a great time. Sure they are. <laughs> I mean, don't have to worry about food or water or survival, so they can just Enjoy the time, I guess. I mean, now they're getting into some deep conversations. Do you want to be able to talk to the people of the past? What kind of stories they might hold? But now they're in some sort of amphitheater. Ah, no. More plants like the... Uh, potato growing facility <laughs> withered or not she's trying any sort of nutrition kind of like, oh, that was it do they know how? I don't think there's instructions written on the pack. And yes, at first I was, uh, I think when it was around the drinking episode, I was questioning if they should be uh, partaking in such things and if it should be shown, but then, yeah, I was corrected on their age, their more university age, so this is fine. And let them have this moment, I guess. Yeah, it's a, they may only have a few boxes left and it's an, an acquired taste, I guess. Do you think they're going to get rat? <laughs> Their spirit is escaping. The smell of tobacco and smoke on I despise. So her enjoying it? Hmm... Right. I mean, did he ask if he can take some? What was in this tobacco? Are you sure it's only tobacco they're smoking? So... One way to commune with the dead. Some 200 year old smokes that you find in a building. And there's one that is not fully on board, even though, even though she can see those in front of her, not believing her own eyes. The human mind and imagination is one hell of a thing. The fear of the dark is because of what we can imagine. 
damn you, tobacco. <laughs> PSA, why not to smoke? Whoa, 39, 38, 39, 40, all in one. Is this long ago or current? What's, what's it being shown for more imagination stuff? The elevator compared to the surrounding already massive buildings. We saw before how huge those towers were leading up and what was holding up the upper grounds, but wow. How do they even construct something like that? Yeah, why? what was their reason for going up? Perfect. <laughs> Head empty means no responsibilities. Twisted metal work as far as the eye can see, the pipes, the steel beams and everything, whether it be artistic or not. Just blow it up. <laughs> ah, I see. I mean, take Kanazawa's uh, approach to things. She's okay with that? Sure, blow it up. What if we might need some later? Yeah, but... Counterpoint, big explosive. <laughs> but how much... Oh, well, this world was destroyed anyway. They're only causing a little bit of extra, extra damage here. Is that how memories work? Small explosions? How much ammo does she have left? And are, is it... Are they uh, able, to be, able to be set off through concussive force like a bullet? This is a cool page. Bang. <laughs> I'll give her that one. There's a few things, only a few things that you would agree with her on, but we all have explosions, right? And to be fair, I'm just going back to the previous page. To be fair, that kind of explosion size compared to the surrounding buildings that's a, a lot of explosives that was used. Ah. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh well, explosions were fun. And what they couldn't see before because it was so bright has suddenly become visible. Hmm. Hello. Yeah, but when things you don't understand, just start tapping at it. Press all the buttons. Something good will happen. Unless it's a Tim Burton esque monstrosity. Oblivion. Since the outside of the lighthouse is out of power. I couldn't open the front door. So what, that thing was looking at them, trying to find a way in? It's like, yeah, nothing I can do from, that, from in here.
Granted, my sleep schedule has been a little out of whack. Not as bad as it has been before, though. But what is this thing? Is it a program? How's it being run? Is there, like, projectors around? Or is it able to create its own status? Hmm. A three-dimensional image. So, yeah, like a projection, but is the tower itself creating it? And is it going to survive by the end of this journey up the elevator? I feel like something's going to go wrong. An AI in charge of maintaining the tower. Could have been very useful long ago when talking to the machines. Finally, there's someone else to talk to. The machines are not very uh, good at conversations recently. Oh. No contact with sisters in the other tower. So if there's a way of opening up communications and joining them, Give them something else, someone else to talk to. The freedom to go anywhere, but knowing that the place you really want to go is nowhere. That would be quite freeing. It's like, I can do anything, but I'm happy right here. Binary. Amazing poetry. What was this kind of elevator? Well, I swear, what was it used for? It's to get up to the tower, obviously. But what was being transported before? A map? Also, considering how lonely this AI has been, is it going to just let them go at the end of this? Or want to try and keep them? Oh, double page, they can't really see that. Does it want to keep them to not... No, I want to keep them to not let the, let go of their conversation now. So, enter the numbers in the terminal. terminal. What will happen? They will disappear. So the AI not being able to communicate with its sisters, not being able to talk through anything, happy with what it's been able to do, it's getting bored now, it wants to end itself, and it's okay and just let her propensity to just press everything and not ask questions to allow it to happen spent decades writing a self-destruct code and apparently oh, well, and there aren't any real humans left so this was a strike of luck for it This seems to be, yeah, really writing up like all things come to an end. Whether it be the fish being the last fish, the robots slowly dying off, or this AI spending an eternity alone. <laughs> unlimited memory, unlimited loss. Jesus, this AI was starting to feel bad for it. (laughs) 
I'll stay alive until the city's reserve powers. Reserve powers. Reserve power. How many... I mean, it's good that they've got so much backup and redundancy, but... <laughs> Always wanting something. Okay, I might actually try it. Actually, no, I don't need to. It shows pretty much everything there. This double page. Wow. I have been the god of failed work. The status growing more erratic and yet also horrifically beautiful simultaneously. And now that it is gone, the elevator leading them up. So many new faces they meet and lose along the way. Wow, okay. Really piling it on with these chapters. It's a long one. I'm going to end it here, I think. So yeah, this is kind of exactly where... I what I expected. Because I was still going on their journey still, trying to garner food and water, and yet also setting up a lot of states of those that are around wanting to die, getting things finalised and over, the world itself is slowly dying out, and I've got AIs wanting for the end as well. So I've got a chilling prediction for how this is going to end, but can't really see a way out of it, to be fair. But I do love the hints and nods back to the history of this world, that it still shares our kind of timeline. The artwork of the past, the technology and motivations, food and culture, This is definitely something else. I mean, there have been several mangas that I've read that deserve anime, which they haven't got so far. There have been several which have got an anime and don't know how. Girls Last Tour being this kind of introspective look on life, society, and what it means to... even exist in, in the world, what do you leave behind? And then strip everything down to base essentials, just shelter and food. I really do like this. Their motivations are pure, simple, with a little bit of exploration and uh, excitement about trying to figure things out. But most of all, just spending time with those that you care about. So, Girls Last Tour is another show where it's going to be painful to let it go. But you know, all good things must come to an end. Luckily, though, there's plenty more chapters to read. So it's not going to be over all too soon. And hopefully you'll be joining me again for those ones. If that is the case and you have enjoyed, let me know. Leave a like on the video, a comment down below. What can I do differently? Would you like me to read in any different sort of ways? What other kind of mangas would you like to see? Maybe I'll start thinking of something. But for now, this has been a long one. And it's definitely left a mark. Subscribe to the channel to not miss out future videos. But definitely get some rest so that I can see you in the next one. If you would like to leave your mark upon the world and history itself, consider joining onto my channel. 
help me thrive and we can continue watching anime, maybe even reading manga, and prove to everyone that we were here. Now, I wouldn't say that's exactly a great accomplishment of the human race, but at least we're having fun. So I do need to thank my patrons that are Sal, Guado, Kite, Ruben Filamawa, Wolfie Sensei, and everyone else. For if it wasn't for all of you, there'd be very little to remember me by. And with that rather depressing comment, <laughs> if you'd like to be part of this group, consider joining onto my Patreon. But for, to all of you out there, thank you.